everyone, Data Owner Guy here. Today it's a little thoughts, opinion and speculation on the new Nerf Hyperline. Welcome to that. The Nerf Hyperline. Since those two pictures of what is supposedly the Hell 100 and the Jab 40, since those two pictures leaked out, uh, we don't really have any detail. Some speculate it's going to be a very small ammo, some other said it's just uh, like a gel ball blaster, some other who are even thinking like me, it's just like a new rival. But besides the price point and some name and description by the number on the name of the blaster, we don't really know much thing. What we know is the Hell 100 will be a 100 uh, capacity blaster with round type ammo. Uh, it's about the shape of a Nemesis. In fact, I made a little comparison trying to scale the picture together. And the Nemesis next to the Hell 100 are very, very similar. I mean, the hopper look considerably shorter on the hell, but if you, let's say if you widen it a little, one row of round more, or let's say an inch more wide or an inch and a half more wide, you will be able to shorten it considerably on the Nemesis. Plus, uh, the, the, the configuration and the scaling, if I measure the flywheel cage with the size of the grip, Pretty much every every spec almost match up to the Nemesis. That made me think that the hypothetical very small round, which is rumored to be seven eight millimeter, it depends on people and on witness. Uh, I will go away from the fact that those will be gel blaster because since the gel B are not very eco-friendly, I doubt Nerf will go that direction. I also doubt it's going to be a very very small ammo for a lot of reasons. First, under 1 cm, under 10 mm, I'm pretty sure no arena or no game will accept them. Little ball flying everywhere. Secondly, it is too close to what we have in Airsoft and other paintball medium to be, I mean, a toy. Uh, Asbro is a toy company. That is what is really fun with those rival blasters. They are quite powerful and they deliver what, what you have, but they still stay and remain toys. Having a hyperline, hypothetically, with very, very small ammo, judging by the picture, the Hell 100 would have a capacity of I don't know, 300, so I doubt this is uh, the right measurement on the hopper if this is really smaller ammo. And for the Hell for the Hell, not the Hell, the Jab 40. For the Jab 40, it's yeah, it's 40 round. It looked like a sizable pistol with a quite big hopper on top. Let me show you something. This, this little bag here. It's 40 round. This is 40 rival round. This is not very big. Okay. If I remove the air from the bag, actually, we have quite a small amount. And this kind of space, this kind of space, let's say I imagine that Hell 40 is going to be somewhat the profile of a Kronos but wider. So I'm gonna take the roundhouse for comparison. This fit easily. I don't have to take care of the priming because that Jab 40 looks like it got a rear priming grip and you need to push it forward like pretty much any round ball system. It, it, it matches the size. It really matches the size of Rival Blaster. And then we got the pricing. Pricing matches pricing on the Nemesis. I don't know about the Jab 40 because we never had a hopper fed uh, spring powered pistol in the rival. And then come to the 
seven eight millimeter round which i don't think that i think this eight millimeter might be the core of a new round stay with me here imagine we have normal rival round and new hyper round which which might be just the same size but with a more heavy more bouncy core in the middle then you will have a new round with the same property as this one might fly further faster because more energy will be transmitted with them i think this is the way it's going to be because for pricing the 50 pack look like it matches the 50 packs of rival in price same thing for the 100 pack the 100 canister refill which which look like it matches the 100 pack rival round price and the boost refill matches about a 20-25 round rival pack so you see there everything made me think that this new hyperline those new blaster will just be something of a new generation of rival because in the end rival are becoming scarce in store they're not restocking or some blaster are disappearing and it looked like they are shutting down rival while rival is like the flagship blaster it's like the top of the line in nerf now they are not gonna shut it down so in the end i think the new nerf hyper is gonna be the nerf rival hyper or nerf hyper by rival something of a companion something let's say more competition the only reason would make me think they will take very very small ammo which will be impossible to get all of them when you search around after a game it's because they want us to be banned from public park and public arena and have their own arena let's say they will only accept ultra dart uh, ultra uh, you'll see that in my ultra 2 video you'll see what i think about the ultra line but yes, I think they will direct people towards their new arena they want to open with this new Hyper Round if it's smaller and the new uh, Ultra Dart. And those might be the, the medium accepted inside. This way they will push away people having modified blaster inside their own arena and they will have less control. Other than that, I really think deep in my heart and I hope that it's just going to be a new Evolve rival this new hyper will be the new rival hyper bring us a line of hopper fed uh, blaster even the 60 round pump action shotgun that is rumored to appear if i take the same measurement as the 40 round i, I put 60 round on top of a takedown and it won't be bigger you will have the hopper here and you will end up with just a small blaster, 60 round, and you will be able to fire all your game. This can be interesting. So yeah, that's my thought on it. I really think the new Hyperline is just going to be an evolved rival. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram, at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. See you next time. Bye.